after Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. I'm going to tell you a story about a red fox. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh. Look at those gorgeous fish the bear has caught. Hey! <laughs> 
following. What a feast! <laughs> Delicious. Take away that log and replace it with a much weaker one. One that will support my weight, but break when that big fat stupid bear tries to cross. Oh, I'm so clever. Oh, I'm so pleased with myself. I'm so clever. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
11, 12. Grandpa, are you counting the pumpkins again? Yes, indeed. We're going to have a bumper crop this year, and your work helped a lot. But we have to keep our eyes peeled for that darn crow. I know. <laughs> that old bird better not try any funny business with me around, Grandpa. That's the spirit, Junior. That's the kind of thing I like to hear. I think I should count yeah. them again, yeah. Grandpa. Go ahead. One, two. I'm going down to the orchard to spread fertilizer. You stay here and guard the pumpkins, all right? Can't I come to the orchard with you? You know your brothers and sisters are coming home for summer vacation. Don't you want them to be proud of how well you guarded the pumpkin? Oh, yes, of course. They'll say I'm the best pumpkin guard ever. Good boy. I have to keep a sharp eye out for that crow. Nasty old bird. Everything looks all right, but I won't lower my guard. Not for one darn second. That one looks like it's getting too big and heavy for the trellis. I'd better put some support under it. pails of fertilizer down to your grandfather in the garden. You feel like coming with me? Oh, no. I gotta stay here and watch the pumpkins. It's my duty. All right. See you later. Gosh. I sure hope you didn't see me hiding that broken tile. of responsibility, and all of a sudden there's a roof tile missing. Hey! Oh. oh no, I didn't do it. The goat came by earlier. He probably did it. Oh! Oh! Looky there! If I could just get that tile, it'd solve all my problems. Let's see if there's anyone around. Gotta be careful. What's that terrible smell? It's making me sick. I can't stand it. on the roof. Where the heck is Junior? 
I'd better try to take care of this all on my own. Oh, here comes Mr. Goat down the road. <laughs> Hello there. Hi, how are things? Hey, you really have a nerve to ask me that after all the huh? trouble you've caused. I don't understand. You broke a roof tile, Mr. Goat. Huh? No, I most certainly did not. Honestly. Don't even try denying it. You were seen. There was a witness. Who is this supposed to Junior witness? saw you do it. Then he's lying. It's not true. Then you know what not we have to do? True. Track down Junior and get to the bottom of this once and for all. <laughs> Jump. I thought we were supposed to be tracking down Junior. That's just what we're doing. You're going the wrong way, That's then. That's what you think. This is the way to my and house. That's exactly where we're headed. Now, let's go. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Move. <coughs> I thought I heard someone inside that barrel as it went by. So did I. Let's go see what's going on. What's the matter? Why are you whizzing around like two meteors? Oh, but there's a monster! Look! Look! You're right, it's a horrible monster. We have to do something. Oh, poor me. Won't someone help me? Oh, me. That's no monster. That's my grandson. Grandfather, please help me. Poor little guy, what happened to you? Oh, come here. Huh? That sounds like Junior. Now let's take a look. How in the world did you manage to fall into the manure barrel? It's him, all right. Hey, Junior. Junior. Are you hurt? He's all right, except for a touch of dung around the ears. <laughs> You're covered in it. Then it was you in that barrel rolling down the hill just now. I'm sorry I butted Poor you. Kid, huh? Uh, we'd all like to know what's going on here. It's all my fault, Grandfather. I broke one of the roof tiles, and I tried to cover up the bare spot with some leaves from the pumpkin vine. You were right. I told you but so. He said you were the one who did it. <laughs> then I tried to get a tile from Mr. Goat's roof, and instead I fell into the manure. I hope you realize you acted very foolishly. You didn't have to go to those lengths. It was only a roof tile, for heaven's sake. Yeah, it was just a roof tile. That wasn't so serious. Yes, you should try to make your problems easier, not tougher. Sometimes we're so eager to solve little problems, we end up creating bigger ones than ever there were before. You should have shared it with us. It helped you out. They're yeah, right. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. For one little roof tile, we lost several fine pumpkins. Just take a look around at all that waste, son. I mean, just think of all the bricklaying and carpentry ahead of us before things are back the way they were. Not to mention all the new pumpkin plants we'll have to put in. Oh, Grandfather. Oh. <laughs> It's all I'm right. So it's all sorry. over and done with now. I yeah. promise to be good forever. I recommend you start off with a good bath, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. The Red Fox. How is the Red Fox classified in the animal kingdom? 
They're mammals of the carnivores order, the Canidae family and the vulpes species. They have slender bodies, long narrow snouts, large ears and long bushy tails. How many species are there and where do they live? Red foxes, also known as common foxes, belong to one species, Vulpes vulpes, and together with a number of subspecies, range throughout Europe, temperate Asia, North America and Australia, where they were introduced by man. How do they live? Foxes are rather solitary animals and can live quite happily in both sandy and marshy land, on islands where there are no woods or in the thickest forests. In other words, they are able to adapt to many different kinds of habitat. How do they move? They walk, trot or run in a way very similar to dogs. However, unlike dogs, they mostly creep very close to the ground so as not to be seen by their quarry. What do they eat? Mainly mice, but they also eat hares, pheasants, poultry, fish, lizards, birds and eggs. Their diet often includes plants and wild berries that grow in the woods. How do they protect themselves? Adult foxes protect themselves above all by means of their highly developed hearing and sense of smell and by their remarkable agility. However, almost everywhere the fox's natural enemies, such as the eagle and the wildcat, have either disappeared or become extremely rare. How do they relate to people? Very badly, since the fox has always been a highly sought after trophy by hunters of every kind. Can they live in the city? In their search for food, foxes often come fairly close to cities and can often be found living in parks, if the park is big enough to reflect their natural habitat. Well, have you all learned the lesson? <laughs> the moral of the story is that greed and revenge are two things to be avoided. <laughs> oh, look who's coming!